Hi guys, it's me, V, just a person who will be a straight A student of K-pop was a major. Say, so, yesterday I asked you guys um, what other groups you want me to react to, like a discography series where I react to everything, all songs by a group. Um, I had already in mind like either G friend or SF9 because I really wanted to do a boy group now because I've only done girl group so far um, so I thought it was time for a boy group and I asked you guys if there if you want me to do G friend or SF9 or if you had any other suggestions for me and I got a comment saying that I should do the boys and I was like of course I should I absolutely love this group and I feel like I keep like falling more in love with them if that's even possible like every single day almost um, so I'm gonna do a The Boys series <sighs> so I'm basically gonna do a discography series but I'll see if there's some other things I would like to react to as well um, but I'll see about that oh probably dance practices because <laughs> we all know how great dancers the boys are so yeah I already have watched some of their dance practices though so just keep that in mind but anyways so yeah but, so I like <laughs> backstory kind of the same with um, Dreamcatcher which I'm also currently doing a series of I just started that um, I absolutely love this group I have heard all of their title tracks never heard a b-side um, so I feel like it's time to just react to everything that the boys has released uh, I feel like I'm pretty familiar with the members of the group. I know all their names-ish. Um, <laughs> it's just a couple of them that I forget sometimes. Um, and a couple of names that it's that is harder to pronounce. But so in this first episode, I'm gonna go through the members profile and react to the first thing on their discography list and that is a mini album okay anyways members profile the boys is a 11 member south korean boy group under kree ker <laughs> what entertainment they debuted on december 6th 2017 17 again same as dreamcatcher but Almost, almost actually a year after Dreamcatcher though. Anyways, okay. <sighs> Members. Sang Young. Lida, main vocalist. Yes. But let me know. Has he always been a main vocalist? I, for some reason, the word lead vocalist comes up in my brain when thinking of him so let me know if he used to be a lead vocalist and is now a main vocalist or has he always been a main vocalist in the group let me know he's born in 96 so he is a year younger than me um he's the father of the group uh -huh. he's decided color is red Okay, I'm not gonna read like too much about them because it's a lot of members. Then we've got Jacob. <laughs> um, lead vocalist, born in 97. Born in Toronto, Canada, yes. Canada Lion. Um, he's the mother of the group. His color is yellow. Then we got Young Hoon. Vocalist visual. Well, one year ninety seven. What I got representative numbers as well. His is sixty seven, and his color is sky blue. Mm. 
His English name is Jelly Kim. <laughs> His hobby is watching movies. Same. Um, oh, I did not know that. He appeared in IOI's What a Man. I have to go and rewatch that music video now. Oh, right. There we go. Hyun Jae. Um, I feel like he's like a. He's. I don't know if it's my boys or boys wrecker. Oh. <laughs> uh, mm. Lead vocalist, lead dancer, visual. Born in '97. His color is silver. Number is twenty-four. English name Jerry Lee. He hates bugs. Same. He would like to collaborate with EXO's Baekhyun one day. Hmm? Oh, he's close to Pentagon's Kino. Wow. Okay. Then we got Yu Yeon. Main dancer, vocalist, visual. Born in 98. His color, no, his number is 11. His color is blue. His favorite color is light green. Ooh. Nice. He's friends with U Kiss slash U and B's June. Then we got Kevin, the other <laughs> member of the Canada line, uh, main vocalist, born in 98. He was born in South Korea but moved to Canada, Vancouver, when he was four. His nickname is Keb. <laughs> His color. No, what is it? Number 16, color gold. Ooh. Kevin is fluent in English. Yeah. He's a good cook. He was a contestant on K pop star 6. Oh, didn't know that. He has designed the group's logo. Ooh. All right, I know he can draw. He's a good artist. Then we got new. Mm -hmm. Main vocalist. Born in 98. He has an older brother, 10 years older than him. Wow. His color is 98. <laughs> His color is transparent. <sighs> oh. His English name is New Choi. Mm -hmm. What? New has a tattoo of a cross on his left pinky. I had no idea. What? Wait, I have to Google that. Really? The boys. New. Tattoo. Oh. I like it. I did not expect new to have a tattoo at all, but I love that. Okay. Um. Then we got Q. See, I don't know, I, I'm not 100% sure who my bias is in this group because there's so many potential biases for me. Um, it's either Q or another member we get to soon. <laughs> uh, main dancer vocalist. <sighs> He's such a good dancer. Uh, did I say born in 98? Mm. His number is two and his color is white. He loves horror movies. <gasps> Same. Ah, oh, it's meant to be. <laughs> Q is known for his high-pitched dolphin screams. <laughs> mm. Then we got... See? It's such a difficult name for me to pronounce. Juha... Kyun. Juha Kyun. Ju... I can't, like, it's so difficult to pronounce. Um, Lee Dancer, vocalist, rapper. Mm. I feel like he could be the main dancer, though, but I feel like that's the case with all members of the boys. Uh, born in 99. Oh, he's like, I know that he's like Korean and Chinese. Ah, he's half Chinese from Hong Kong and half Korean. He lived in Hong Kong for a while, right? 
His number is nine and his color is orange. His English name is Brian Yu. He speaks English. I didn't know that. Woo! He hates horror movies. Oh. <laughs> He's close to 70, Sun Quan. I love 17. What? He was a participant on Produce 101 Season 2, Eliminated Episode 11. I didn't know that. Whoa. <laughs> okay, then we have Sun Wu. That's the other member that I like. Might be my bias. It's either Sun Wu or, or Q. It's, I've been leaning more towards Sun Wu lately, though. Fun fact, he was the first member. He was like my first impression boys in the group when I did my new K pop Friday with the boys <sighs> like two years ago ish. Main rapper, lead dancer, vocalist. Also, same with him. Let me know. I don't. <sighs> he didn't used to be a dancer, right? Of the group. I'm pretty damn sure that he got lead dancer not that long ago. Let me know. I'm pretty damn sure that he wasn't, he didn't used to be a dancer in the group, but he is now. Let me know if that's true. Or am I tripping? <laughs> right, vocalist, right. Born in 2000. His number is 19 and his color is purple. His hobby is to watch movies. <laughs> He's very immature for his age. Oh. He's scared of dogs. <laughs> oh. He's close with Astros, Sana, Golden Childs, Boomin. I absolutely love that. Golden Child is one of my favorite groups, if you did not know. Um, and Lee Darby of AB6. Mm. Oh, Friends with the CEO of One Wee. Wow. Okay. Then we've got Eric. Right. He's not Canadian. He is American. Not not American. He lived in America. But I don't think he was born there. We'll find out. Lead dancer, lead rapper, vocalist, McKinney. Born in 2000. Nationality, Korean American. He was born in Korea. But grew up in Los Angeles, California. Right. His number is 22. His color is pink. He's fluent in English. Duh. He's a huge fan of God 7. Ooh. Oh, his best friend idol star is Felix. Oh, straight kids. Ooh. I love the friendship between the boys and straight kids. Absolutely. It's so cute. Right. And then... Former member, Wal. Wal. If that's even how you pronounce it. Um, if I'm not mistaken, he left after No Air era, right? If I'm not very mistaken. Also, I he left the group before I got into the boys. Uh, so I don't know too much about this guy but i know that he was talented and i do follow him on instagram <laughs> um lead dancer lead rapper vocalist what just a lead dancer he's so good <laughs> but in 2000 yeah he lived in the philippines for four years wow number 2039 color black oh he can speak english as well let me see Right, October 22nd, 2019, it was announced that he had departed the group due to health concerns, his ankle. Okay. Right. Oh. Yeah, and I do know he does some solo stuff and he would debut as an actor. Ooh, nice. Good for him. Um, right. That was all the members. Uh, oh, so many members. 11. I like that. I like big groups in K-pop. It's already 
been okay so the video is already 19 minutes long um i was actually gonna do like react to the first album in this part i'm gonna do that in the like second episode because it's gonna be way too long um so yeah i'm gonna film it straight away though so it, it won't be long until i post my reaction to their first mini album also i was kind of shocked that they that the first thing they released was mini album and not like a single or a single album but that's great i'm excited also <laughs> i look right at my k-pop albums and i actually own one the boys album i'll show you which one it's the reveal album and i got there's a boy version i think it might be does it say also kind of funny though that i own <laughs> this album i've only heard the title track not the b-sides yet but that's actually kind of perfect because i'm now doing uh, the boys series <laughs> so I'm not complaining. So yeah. Let me know if you're excited for this the boy series. I sure am. I'm hella excited. Also, this is gonna be my first like uh, series with the boy group, so that's like and the fact that it's the boys is <sighs> exciting. Okay. Stay tuned for the next part and as always before you leave this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys again another time. Bye.